In this video, we will demonstrate the outside in single lasso loop technique for meniscal repair. This is a left knee medial compartment view through the anterolateral portal. This patient had history of deep layer sprain of the medial collateral ligament with, per with persistent medial compartment pain and meniscal positive signs. During meniscal examination, middle segment instability and translation is confirmed by applying pressure in the capsular meniscal union. A 14 gauge inch needle preloaded with a number one PDS suture as a lasso loop is introduced in one side of the desired repair. In this case, we opted for the peripheral border of the meniscus. Then, a second 16 gauge inch needle preloaded with a number one PDS single suture is introduced at the other side of the tear. Once both needles are placed satisfactory, unloading of the lasso loop needle into the joint is performed. Then the needles are oriented toward each other in order to introduce the single suture into the lasso loop. Care must be taken to avoid chondral injury with the needle tips. When this last step has been achieved, unloading the single suture needle and simultaneously extracting the needle, followed by pulling of the lasso loop, will retrieve extraticularly the single suture. Now, replacement of the PDS by a number two threaded absorbable suture is performed with a simple knot and pulling. Maintain traction of the transporting suture away from the meniscus during this step will avoid meniscal tearing. Retrieving both ends sutured through a skin incision will allow tightening the knot over the capsule. We recommend arthroscopic visualization during this step. This procedure is repeated for the other desired meniscal site repairs. This middle segment meniscus has been reattached to the deep and superficial capsular fibers in order to restore meniscal stability. 